While the Samsung Galaxy S9 will go down as one of 2018's most popular Android smartphones, the Galaxy S10 is due to ring in 2019 and kickstart Samsung's year. So what can we expect from Samsung's follow-up to the S9? Well, we've gathered all the rumors, leaks, and news into one place so you can find everything you need to know about the Samsung Galaxy S10. After taking something of a design break with the Galaxy S9, it looks as if Samsung will be making some serious changes to the Galaxy S10. So far, the leaks are pointing toward three models, all with edge-to-edge -edge displays far surpassing the previous Galaxy S models. The biggest change will be hole-punch cutouts for the front-facing cameras. Samsung usually releases a bunch of new colors for its flagship phones, but the latest leak from My Smart Price shows off the Canary Yellow Galaxy S10e. Canary Yellow is certainly accurate, and it's a bright and garish color we've rarely seen from one of Samsung's flagship phones. Another tweet from Ishana Garwal showcases the entire color range, minus the ceramic options, for the Galaxy S10e, S10, and S10 Plus, and it seems the canary yellow option is only available on the lower-priced S10e. Is this a competitor to the iPhone XR? As expected for a while now, the Galaxy S10 Plus looks set to go a step further and use the camera cutout, set in the top right of the screen, to hold two camera lenses. The latest leaks from 91 Mobiles are supposedly one of the press renders Samsung will use for its announcement on February 20th, and it shows the Galaxy S10 Plus in detail, including the two front-facing camera lenses and a horizontally placed camera suite with three lenses and a single flash. Another leaked photo, supposedly of the phone itself, shows how this will look, with the lenses acting like an off-center notch as the top line of information runs alongside it rather than above it. The device pictured also has very thin top and bottom bezels. This follows another leak showing what's likely to be the Galaxy S10 Plus with a dual front-facing camera in the top right of the phone's front. The image isn't great, but there are a few details that can be made out. A test version of the Galaxy S10 Plus may have also been spotted, again with the dual front-facing camera lenses, if this Reddit post is to be believed. Those renders show off the expected Galaxy S10e, Galaxy S10, and Galaxy S10 Plus. There are three lenses on the back of the S10 and S10 Plus, and two on the back of the S10e. Take a look at the left-hand side of the S10e and compare it to the other two, and you'll likely notice a much larger cutout on the S10e's side. This may be a space cut out for a fingerprint scanner, which matches earlier rumors about such a feature and is similar to some Sony Xperia smartphones. The S10 and S10 Plus are rumored to feature in-display fingerprint sensors. The S10e sports a 5.8-inch screen, the middle model, the S10, has a 6.1-inch display, and the largest model, the S10 Plus, sports a 6.4-inch display. All three are said to use Samsung's beautiful AMOLED displays. According to news from noted Samsung leaker Ice Universe, the S10 range will still include the headphone jack. In September, Samsung CEO DJ Ko reported the upcoming Galaxy S10 lineup will come in an amazing array of color options. In addition to bright yellow and green options, with Huawei P20 Pro-style gradient finishes, Samsung may use ceramic for the rear panel on a black and white Galaxy S10. Ceramic is very strong, so the phone should be better resistant to scratches and marks. Sam Mobile claims the 12 megapixel variable aperture lens we saw on the Samsung Galaxy S9 will return and it'll be joined by a 16 megapixel wide angle lens with a 123 degree field of view, an f1.9 aperture, but no optical image stabilization or autofocus. The third lens seems to be the same one we saw on the S9 Plus, a 13 megapixel lens with a much smaller f2.4 aperture, likely equipped with a 2 times telephoto zoom. Being a flagship phone, you can be sure the S10 range will come with the best possible hardware for the day. The new Snapdragon 855 seems likely, or the Samsung-built Exynos 9820 in other areas. The new Exynos 9820 chipset also has a dedicated neural processing unit, MPU, to support artificial intelligence tasks and support 8K video at 30 frames per second. Anyone involved in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin is likely already using a cryptocurrency wallet to keep their digital coins safe but Samsung is apparently including a native cryptocurrency wallet in the Galaxy S10 if leaks from Twitter are to be believed. A tweet from longtime leaker Ben Gaskin shows pictures of a Samsung blockchain key store running on the Galaxy S10. 
It seems the app only supports Ethereum at the moment, but we can expect to see more cryptocurrencies added as updates are added. We're currently hopeful Samsung's 2019 flagships will ship with Android 9.0 Pi. We're also expecting to see another major update to Bixby thanks to Samsung's purchase of Viv, a startup created by the founders of Siri. There's also the possibility that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will feature improved health apps. According to a patent recently unearthed by Let's Go Digital, Samsung is working on an app that determines your skin type and can suggest recommendations to limit sun exposure. The app will apparently use photos of different parts of your body to determine the skin type. Once your skin type is registered, it can constantly provide tips and measure your UV exposure. It's official, Samsung will be taking the wraps off the Galaxy S10 range on February 20th in an 11 a.m. Pacific Time unpacked event in San Francisco's Bill Graham Civic Auditorium. Digital Trends has been invited to the event, and you can be sure that we will offer you the latest breaking news from it. The invite received shows a sideways placed 10, likely referencing the S10, but also celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Galaxy series. Also interesting is the line breaking the image in two. Is this a teaser of the phone's extremely thin bezels? We expect all three phones to be available for pre-order immediately after the announcement, and released on March 8th. As for pricing, Gizmodo UK claims it received a credible leak from a retail source stating the Samsung Galaxy S10e will sell for around $850. The 128GB version of the S10 will come in at around $1,000, and the 512GB variant will sell for around $1,250. The Galaxy S10 Plus will reportedly come in three different storage configurations, from 128GB to a terabyte, priced from $1,150 to a whopping $1,750 for that terabyte of storage.